Don't steal. Pay your taxes. Go to school. We're all expected to obey the laws of the land. But where do laws come from? Before a law becomes a law, it is known as a bill. And on its way to becoming a law, a bill must pass through both houses of parliament. Most bills are based on ideas suggested by the government, although any MP or Lord can propose a bill. It will get checked by both along the way. All bills get the same treatment. First, every bill gets introduced, so everyone knows it's begun its journey to become a law. Usually a government minister who supports the bill will defend and explain the reasons why they think it's a good idea. Other MPs and Lords will ask lots of questions and either support or challenge the minister's ideas and views. MPs and Lords will also take a closer look at the detail of a bill. Bills have to be examined line by line to ensure tiny details aren't overlooked. A committee of MPs and Lords with a special interest in or knowledge of a bill's subject will usually carry out this task. MPs and Lords also have the chance to make changes to a bill. After holding a debate, they might want to take parts out or add new bits. These changes are called amendments. MPs and Lords vote on each bill a number of times. Every time a bill is debated or changes are proposed, it continues its journey to becoming a law. But if most MPs and Lords vote against the bill, then its journey comes to an end. So if the bill was the government's idea, for example, the government would have to abandon its plan or come up with a new idea. Every bill starts in either the House of Commons or the House of Lords. When a bill finally gets approved in one house, it goes over to the other house for the same treatment. It gets introduced. It's discussed and debated. The bill is looked at in detail. Changes or amendments are suggested. And everyone votes as the bill makes its journey. Both houses must agree on the final wording of a bill before it can become law. If one house changes the bill, it must go back to the other house for approval. A bill can go back and forth from one house to the other until an agreement is reached, a bit like a game of table tennis. If both houses are unable to agree, the House of Commons has the final say. That's because its members are elected. However, the two houses almost always reach an agreement. The final part of a bill's journey into law is called Royal Assent. Once both the House of Commons and the House of Lords agree that a bill is fit to become a law, it is sent to the monarch. And when the monarch agrees, well then a bill finishes its long journey to becoming a law of the land.